Hello guys, and welcome to Metsbima. A few weeks ago, I flew to England to visit my family and friends. One friend I visited, I had to go to his workplace. He has this car that I'm featuring in my video. As I had 10 minutes to spare, and my camera was in the car, I thought I'd quickly film it. It also turns out that my friend wanted to buy a newer car. So we both went to the local BMW dealer the next day and found this beautiful 2017 BMW F20 320D M Sport. Next day he actually bought it and that will appear on my channel in the future. Anyway, back to the Golf. This is the Mark V Golf, codename 1K, which ran from 2003 to 2009. It rivaled cars such as the Mark II Ford Focus, the Vauxhall Astra H and the Honda Civic. The Mark V replaced the very good looking Mark IV, which was one of my favourite Golfs. And after the Mark V came out the Mark VI, which was basically a thoroughly engineered facelift of the Mark V. The Mark V Golf had a Volkswagen Group A5 PQ35 platform, which shared with these following cars. The Audi A3 Mark II 8P, the Audi TT Mark II 8J, the Audi Q3 HU, the Seat Altia 5P, the Seat Toledo Mark III 5P, the Seat Leon Mark II 1P, the Skoda Octavia Mark II 1Z, the Skoda Yeti 5L, the Volkswagen Touran 1T, the Volkswagen Caddy 2K, the Volkswagen Golf Plus 5M, the Volkswagen Jetta Mark V 1K, the Volkswagen Scirocco 13, the Volkswagen Golf Mark VI 5K, the Volkswagen Beetle A5 16, and the Volkswagen EOS 1F. So basically, quite a lot of models. Oh, and while talking about Golfs, I have actually done a few in-depth tours of the Mark VII Golf, the 1.2 TSI, in various transmission forms and colours. I shall leave the links down below. I really do like the Volkswagen Golfs. The Mark V came with many different engines. Petrols mostly came with the inline 4s, 1.4s, all the way up to the 2 litres. But they did also make a 3.2 V6 for the R32. The coolest engine to grace the Mark V Golf was the W12 6 litre from a Bentley. It was called the GTI W12 650. The diesel engines raised from a 1.9 to a 2 litre, but there were so many different versions of them. Let's just focus on this car. This car is a 2007 Mark V in the 5-door body shell. It is a 1.9 TDI fitted with a 5-speed manual transmission. It has the matched trim, which is a step up from the Golf S. This car here is finished in what I believe to be called steel grey. It looks a lot nicer in the sunlight. Staring at the front of this car, we can see the famous Volkswagen logo sitting central on the colour-coded grille. Each side of the grille, as you would expect, are the headlights with the built-in indicators into the lower section. Just on the end of the light bulbs are Volkswagen symbols, which I first noticed on the Mark 7 Golf. The bumper strips are colour-coded due to being a match model. This car doesn't have any fog lights at the front. The wheels in this car are the 15-inch camber alloys, which are part and parcel of the matched trim. The tyres are wrapped in 195-65 R15 tyres. Up front, the discs are vented and we have independent spring suspension all round. The ring mirrors on this car are electronically adjustable, heated and colour-coded. They also have built-in indicators. The door handles and door protection strips are also colour-coded due to it being a matched model. The rear wheels on this car are the same size as the front ones, but the rear discs on this car are solid. The fuel tank in this car is a 5 litre tank. Quickly heading around to the back of the car, we will see all the usual stuff like fur brake light, etc. The Volkswagen badge on this car also doubles up as the boot handle. Let's quickly jump into the car, which is opened by a remote control. The doors in this car feel so solid and the car is easy to get into. Inside this car is a lovely place to be, as it is with most Golfs. The seats are finished in Opera Loop Velour, finished in art grey. They give you a nice amount of support 
due to the lumbar support and the seats are also height adjustable. The interior is full of great materials finished off in black greys and silvers which is very German. The glove box is a lovely size too. The radio in this match car has 8 speakers apparently compared to the standard S cars which have 4 speakers. Below the radio CD player you have the very simple buttons and rotary knobs which control the air conditioning system. Moving on down you have storage and the button which turns off and on the electronic stability program switch. You will also notice that there is an aftermarket Parrot Bluetooth system installed. This 5 speed manual is lovely to use, it feels so precise and the shifts are so easy. Moving back more you have the cup holders hidden under a slide along lid and the armrest also doubles up as a storage space too. It's so nice to see that this car has a normal style handbrake. Moving quickly onto the instrument cluster, it looks quite sporty with the red needles. The red counter is on the left hand side and in the centre you have the coolant temperature gauge and the fuel gauge and on the right hand side you have the speedometer. Also in the centre is a very cool onboard computer screen. This car here has cruise control and it also has a leather covered steering wheel with buttons to help control things such as the radio. The light controls are to the right hand side of the steering wheel. In the doors you have the electric window switches and mirror controls. You also have speakers and storage space. Quickly jumping into the back you get electric window switch and some storage space and isofix. It is quite comfortable in the back, you get enough leg room and headroom, I'm 6 foot tall. This car has many airbags in it, including side airbags. It was the first Golf to have a 5 star NCAT rating. Being a match model, you also get a sunglasses holder, dim and rear view mirror and I believe this car has automatic windscreen wipers and I also believe automatic headlights. I wish I had more time in this car to actually realise its potential. Popping open the boot, you are greeted with a nice size boot at 350 litres with the rear seats up. When the seats are down, it measures up at 1305 litres. Under the boot floor, you will find your wheel and a toolkit. Running around to the engine, you will find a direct injection 1.9 TDI 8 valve inline 4 turbocharged diesel engine which puts out about 104 brake horsepower at 4000 revs. This engine will put out about 250 meters of torque through its front wheels. The top speed on this car, bear in mind it's a 5 speed manual, is 116 miles per hour. 0 to 62 is 11.3. The brochure says that this car does a combined miles per gallon of 56.5 on the manual car, while the DSG version only does about 48.7. But remember, the ways of testing back then weren't accurate. I hope that you find this very quick in-depth tour useful. I prefer having more time to do a real in-depth tour. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe and I hope to do more in-depth tours soon. If you want to see my friend Alex, he has a YouTube channel called Horlix and he builds model cars such as the Back to the Future DeLorean. I shall leave a link to his channel down below. Thank you and take care. Bye.